Hello everyone and welcome back to The Wrench and Fool. Back at the end of December in 2022, Hyundai released a software update that enabled battery preheating or battery preconditioning uh, prior to arriving to a DC fast charger for the early production 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5 all-wheel drive with the heat pump here in the US. Now this was a feature that was supposed to have come on the car from the factory from the very beginning. Uh, it's even advertised on the window sticker. But for whatever reason, it just didn't. So this software update got released. A lot of people got it because it was exciting to them. And almost immediately there started being a lot of reports of now uh, the eco mode, drive mode is undrivable and unusable and completely dangerous. Get out of the way. So in this video, we're going to compare my car, which has not been updated, and see how fast or slow eco mode is, and then compare it to some other cars that have already been updated. So let's get right to it. So first up, let's get a baseline with my car. So I'll be doing two back-to-back -back runs just going one direction and then the other direction on the same road, same day, same time, and we'll be in eco mode here. So let's take a look at that. So to get the acceleration numbers, I am using a Draggy, which is just a performance monitor, just uses GPS and an accelerometer to determine uh, how quickly your car accelerates and stops and all of that. So we can see there, my car, without the update in eco mode, accelerates to 30 in about 3.3 seconds, it accelerates to 40 in about 4.4 seconds, and then continues on to 60 in about 7.6 seconds. So now let's compare that back to back with some other cars that have already been updated. Foot flat, nothing, 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 nothing. There's the power. So it starts delivering that power about uh, 25 miles an hour. All right, so here's level two. There's 40. So we can see there, there's quite a significant difference uh, with the cars that have already had the battery preconditioning update or the ones that came, from it, came with it from the factory. We're talking about almost twice as long to get from zero to 30 or zero to 40 as my car that has not had the software update. That's a pretty substantial difference and it's pretty disappointing considering this software update was not supposed to do anything to the performance of the vehicle. It was only supposed to heat up the battery when you're on your way to a DC fast charger in cold temperatures. So why they decided to make this change, who knows? To further illustrate the point, let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison of a car that has not had the software update versus one that has. So over here on the right will be my car that has not had the software update. And on the left will be another YouTuber's car where they have had the software update. And let's see how much of a visual difference there is. So that's definitely a pretty big difference in acceleration. Now there is one thing that I want to address here. There's been some sensationalizing of this issue where people have been calling eco mode dangerous and undrivable and everything. And I completely disagree. Uh, if we sort of extrapolate out the data that we have here, it looks like the Ionic 5 with, in eco mode with the preconditioning update is going to do zero to 60 in roughly 10 or 11 seconds. While that is no doubt slow, I'm not arguing that fact, it is definitely slow, 
it's not dangerous. The only way that I could see that potentially being dangerous is if you didn't know it was coming. You didn't know that that's what you had to expect from your car, which is going to be the reality for a lot of people who are getting this software update, popping in their car, putting it in eco mode, and then suddenly they don't have any acceleration. Now, it's very easy to switch out of eco mode. You move your hand down and push the button. You know, it takes half a second. So, is that really a big deal? Eh, it's definitely not as dangerous as I think some people are making it out to be. I was just editing the video and there's something I noticed I forgot to mention. My car does not have the battery preconditioning software update on it yet. I'm planning to get it next week. I do have an appointment to do that, but that means that I have not actually driven a car, the Ionic 5, that has this new software up, but update on it yet. I do plan on doing a second video, an update video, with some more actual numbers, acceleration times using my Draggy device, and my own personal impressions. So subscribe to the channel, keep an eye out for that video. But there you have it. You can see the information now. Make a judgment for yourself and let me know down there in the comment section. What do you think? Is eco mode dangerous and unusable, or is it just slower now. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.